Hey guys, welcome back to my IGTV. So I thought I would start doing like all my cooking stuff again because I, well, I love it and I just feel like I haven't had time to do it lately. So I'm going to bring back starting off with protein balls. So super simple, super quick and like an easy snack on the go. Or if you just want to get your protein source in another way other than having like meat or just not plain protein shakes. So just super easy, super yum. And yeah, it's super cheap as well when you um, add it all up. It's a lot cheaper to make them than go out and buy them. So without further ado, we're going to make chocolate protein balls. So the first ingredient that you're going to need is pitted dates. You can just get these from like any local supermarket. Um, you probably want to put in about, I'm going to make a big batch, but if you just want to make maybe like five to 10, you probably only need about 11 dates, but I'm making a big batch because, well, why not? You can easily freeze them if you don't think you'll have them all. Okay, so that is about a cup of dates. The next ingredient we're going to add is chia seeds. So again, you can just get these from a health food store or like your local supermarket. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of chia seeds in to the mixture. These are a really good source of fiber. And I also have protein in them as well and omega-3s. One. Next, I'm going to add my um, WPI protein. I get this from ASN. I will leave a discount code in the description. I've had this one now. I've had the this. Ah! Okay, words come to my head. Um. Yes, so I've been having this one from um, ASN for almost two years now. I've had the chocolate brownie flavor for, I want to say, my whole prep. I've gone through at least six kilos of it already. I'm on my um, third tub of three kilos, so almost finished nine kilos of protein. Look, that's crazy. This is two scoops I've measured out and put into this jar. So chocolate protein for the chocolate protein balls. If you want to make a different flavor protein ball, I do suggest using a different flavor. Next, we're going to add some almonds. So I don't have much left, sadly, but I probably will add some more to the mixture before I blend. I just need to go find them. So you probably want um, like a quarter cup of almonds. If you can't eat nuts, um, you can just leave them out. You could put in um, some dried fruit if you'd like just like that crunchy taste or any other nut that you might have lying around. Next, we're going to add coconut oil. So this is um, not the liquid, it's like dry. Um, it helps mold everything together. I'm going to add one heat spoonful of it to the mixture. This will help when the time is set because it will freeze it all together. It's also a good source of fat. And then to finish off, I'm going to add this co cocoa, like original coconut and cacao, um, like paste. It's sort of like Nutella, but the healthier version. So you could add Nutella if you'd like. Um, you don't have to add it, it's just something extra I'm adding. You so with this, I'm just going to add a teaspoon just to give it a little bit more flavor. Um, I would add rice malt syrup or honey instead of this as well to give it um, that sweet taste, but I don't have any in the house. So um, healthy Nutella it is. So now all we're going to do now, guys, is blend it up and see how thick or like watery it is and then add it on there. I kind of like to just Play around with it and see how we go. And then you put any blades on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh! That's better. Okay, now it's a bit sticky. So with your spatula, you scrape it off the sides. Take your blades out. Sugar. Nice. And then you're just gonna scrape the sides so that nothing is stuck to the walls. Get it all in there. So an option for these, if you have like coconut flakes or if you have some like shredded nuts, you can cover them with the protein balls. But like I'm, I said at the beginning, this is just super quick and simple. It's actually everything I just have in the cupboard lying around, all the extras that I needed to get rid of. And then ee, roll them into balls. Oh my God, you guys, these are so freaking good. I just wanna eat it all. It literally just tastes like chocolate mud cake. Like, 
Wow. And you know what sucks? I'm making these, but I actually can't eat them because they're not a part of my meal plan like at all. So really, I'm just hurting myself. And I love these so much. Yum. Actually, you know what it tastes like? Like, like a chocolate scone. Oh. Like from Baker's Delight. You guys, if you've ever had that, this is what it tastes like. I'm going to call them chocolate scone balls. So you have it guys, I've made my protein balls. So if you have a bit of like a sugar craving or a chocolate craving, I would definitely recommend making these. Um, probably make, don't make them as big as I have made them so that they last longer, but I'll probably make another batch now. It took me about five minutes and I could probably eat these right now. Like I, well I could. I'm gonna put them in the fridge for about five minutes and it'll taste so much better. It'll be that, that nice cold and oh, so good. So yeah, there you have it, chocolate protein balls.